In our previous segment, we just finished creating an SMB share, and we've created a text file here to represent some important data. We'll write a quick note inside here, just to show that we can prevent this data from accidentally being overwritten or deleted. Save this file and close it when you're finished. From here, we'll use a TrueNAS snapshot to protect the current state of your data. TrueNAS uses ZFS snapshots for recovery, which leverage the copy on write behavior of ZFS. Even when we're overwriting existing data, the older copy is kept. Return to your console, click on Data Protection. In this new window, move to the Periodic Snapshot Tasks pane and click the Snapshots button. In the new window, click the Add button in the top right hand corner. You'll be prompted to select a dataset. We'll choose our Eval Data dataset. Once selected, a snapshot name is populated with the word manual and the current date and time in 24 hour format. If we had multiple datasets nested under eval data, we could check the recursive option to select them all. But at this point, we're only interested in protecting the eval data dataset itself. Click the Save button and you'll be returned to the snapshot page. We'll now return to our file manager, open the file, and change the contents to indicate that it was either accidentally or deliberately overwritten. Save the contents and close the file. Reopen the file again, just to confirm that your new contents are now in place. Now that we've confirmed our file contents were changed, let's restore a previous version. Right-click on the file, you might need to shift right-click in Windows 11, and choose the Restore Previous Versions dialog. From inside this window, you can see that a previous version of the file was saved. If you double-click on this file, it will open the version from within the ZFS snapshot on TrueNAS. You can see our original content is present. We can save it from within this application window, or close it and choose to restore the file to its original location using the Restore button. Note that the current changes will be overwritten if you do so. Our original file contents have been restored from the TrueNAS snapshot. While a manual snapshot is fine if you know there's the potential for large-scale changes to your data, for optimal data protection, you'll want to schedule periodic, recurring snapshot tasks. Return to the TrueNAS UI in your web browser and click on the Data Protection tab in the left. In the Periodic Snapshot Tasks area, choose the Add button this time to create a new snapshot schedule. Under Dataset, select the Eval Data dataset again. Our default schedule will create a snapshot every day at midnight in your local time zone and retain it for a period of two weeks. Additional snapshot schedules are available for weekly, monthly, and longer. We do want to allow the taking of empty snapshots so that we could have multiple schedules overlapping, such as a daily snapshot and a weekly snapshot with a longer retention period. Once the retention period of a snapshot has been reached, TrueNAS automatically removes it to prevent excessive disk space consumption. Once you've configured your snapshot schedule, please click on the Save button. The snapshot task is now visible. The state will be shown as pending. In this case, we can see our daily snapshot task will run for the first time in about 13 hours. Thanks for watching this segment of the TrueNAS Scale Evaluation Guide. Be sure to stay tuned for more upcoming videos.